Hello lovely bloodsuckers, and we are starting this episode of Why Digimon Why with TK getting home and his mom asking him if he has something to do with the Digimon appearing. And she even asks if it's the Digimon. Now, oh, also happy 4th of July, I almost forgot to say that. But now, TK says yes, it is. Then she brings up an interesting point. And she tells him that a guy a few days ago approached her. And that this was the same guy that approached her during the first incident in season one. And TK asks, is he human? And she says, what do you mean, is he human? And he said, no, no, of course he's human. And then he's like, is that, that couldn't be Mommy Mon, is it? No, TK, it's not Mommy Mon. It's Okiwa Kawa. Now, of course, now I don't believe that Okikawa was infected by Mayoda's mom when he first talked to TK's mom. But I do believe he was, well, he was during the second time, of course, obviously. Now, moving on from that, we get um, a shot to, to uh, Ken going to his house and all that. Then he gets up there and Warmon comes in through the window. They go to bed and Ken starts to dream about his visit, his very first visit to the digital world and him and Warmon fighting and the dark spores infecting him. Then he wakes up and he's, Warmon says what's wrong Ken and Ken said, I had a dream, and Mormon, of course, was right. He said it's more like a nightmare. Because of how Ken was reacting to it. Now, let me look at my notes here. Oh, yes. This. Now, we get a nice scene of a couple getting married and about to go on a cruise. Or at least sell away in a boat. And then the water sh shoots out. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a surprise though, but the voice actor for this guy didn't even try. He just said, oh, just like that. But luckily the woman saved that situation when she screamed when they seen it was Marine Devilon. And from there, uh, hold on, I'm looking at my notes. I do have notes now, so... We go to Ken and Davis fighting Skull Sadamon. Now, Skull Sadamon already paralyzed, uh, and Peladramon, Dragon Mode. And so the others were coming to help. And Sad Skull Sadamon said not so fast. So he went to go drain their energy. And Davis, uh, the classic dumb ass he is, says, so much for him. And thank God Ken saved this because Ken goes, Yo guys, he's not an ordinary Digimon. And he does end up draining their energy, of course. But from there, we go to the debut of um, Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode and all that, but again, I prefer Dragon Mode, and even more, I prefer the ultimate to be Dino Beamon, which I'll probably have in the little corner here by my legs it's because until I can figure out the way to get my uh, 
custom ones turn digital without having to pay. Because I can draw them, but I can't draw them on my phone. I suck at drawing on my phone. Will be our mascot for this channel. Will be Dino Beamon, which I'm very happy with, to be honest. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Sorry, I had to go on a little rant right there. I just think it was too soon to debut fighter mode. I really do. Now, this is my opinion, of course, and you can disagree with it. I don't care. Now, going on from here, it gets a little more serious. Because we get our first look at the seven demon lords. And that being Daemon making the appearance. Now, Daemon goes on to say that he... Now, Daemon is actually... Does try to kind of do it the more civil way than most demon lords have done. I think the only other more civil demon lord was probably Bellows above on. But anyways... Well, he wasn't really civil. But y'all know what I mean. As Ipmon, he was more civil. Just a prankster. But anyways, um, Daemon tells Ken to come with him. He wants the dark spore that's still in Ken's neck. For Daemon... <sighs> See, this is my issue with Daemon. But I'll get to that after I finish what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I don't want to go on that rant. Anyways. So, our Kenimon comes in. And she basically says the same thing but also threatening with the kids that went missing. This forces it with her. Now to Daemon. When he's he also threatens her, he says you're messing with the forces of darkness, yada yada all that. But he doesn't do nothing. And he says he'll have to punish her for messing with the forces of darkness. Then he just disappears. Like, Daemon, come on, you're a damn demon lord. Probably not the best demon lord, but you're still a demon lord. Like, come on, they, they could have done so much more with him. And they do do more with him in the mangas. But anime-wise, uh. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And happy 4th of July, love you all. Bye.